Hello, welcome to Cypress Automation. This is Cheerful. In this lecture, we're going to learn how to integrate Mocha Awesome report in Cypress. It's a some sort of custom report. Uh, even though Cypress it has an inbuilt web services, it's called Dashboard, and Dashboard it's all in one service where you can get a very nice report like your execution video, a screenshot, some analytic report, how long it took, you know, uh, your pass fail, all details. It's a web services, inbuilt web services, so it is a separate services, but it's a built-in comes with a Cypress, uh, you know, the framework. So if somebody does not want to use that dashboard because, you know, a dashboard, it's a, it's a paid service. You know, I think it's up to three user is free, but more than three you have to pay. So if some reason you know you don't want to use uh, the dashboard, so your alternate is uh, to use some sort of custom report. So Mocha Awesome, it's some uh, you know it's it's a uh, one of the custom report. It has a couple of more uh, custom report. Um, I think Allo report also uh, it's possible to integrate with Mocha framework but in this lecture we're going to learn how we can in integrate uh, this custom report its name is uh, Mocha Awesome so first uh, let's see that how it looks it's a very simple uh, report it's going to be something like this if you see here you know uh, it, it, it's a uh, you know UI or GUI uh, you know look so it will tell you your suit, you know, which is the describe the mocha framework from the describe, and this is some of the test cases or your it block. Okay, it will tell you if it's a green sign, it means it's pass. Also, it will tell you the your uh, all code, and you can see it's a pass. You know, uh, also uh, it will tell you how long it ran, something like that. You know, and also it will tell you how many what's total test cases. You know. And this is your uh, test suits. So you know one test suits, and it's ran three and three pass, no fail. Okay, it's a very simple, but that's the way it's going to be look like. Okay, so let's see. That's a little bit uh, uh, information, more information regarding this uh, Mocha Awesome report in their official websites. So if you go to the Cypress official website and search Mocha Awesome, so you can see over here it says how we can install it so your custom report folder it should be your project level okay so your cypress your source so it's report folder it will automatically create a folder its name is like you know custom re uh, awesome report or something like that and then what about the you know you, there will be a, a js file so what about the name dot js file and you have to run that you know uh, open the js file uh, through the uh, related path or or or, or uh, the full path okay and uh, and also before that how you are going to integrate so you have to install it first we have to install it as a, a you know separate plugin you know you to your framework and then we have to uh, you know update our config file which is our you can see it's saying over here the Cypress JSON file you have to update this code you know and after that when you are going to run you can run your test cases like one single test case through your command line or your all the test cases you know uh, and then it will automatically generate a folder and then it will give you one JS file and you can pull or run the JS file and it will show you the report something like this and so let's see the first how you know what would be the command how you can install it to install it if we just search over here Mocha Awesome Report, Mocha Awesome Report, and there will be a side Mocha Awesome. Go up there, and if you go a little bit down, you can see over here. You uh, you just so add Mocha Awesome to your project. This is the instruction. So first, you have to install it. So you have to install as a dev dependency. So install npm, install save dev dependency Mocha Awesome. So copy this line exactly as it is. So if we go to the BS code. I mean I do have already installed it so probably I'm not going to do it again let's see so you'll be in your you know root uh, directory of your project and then you will just copy and paste this npm install save dependency in a mocha awesome and then hit enter you know it will install you'll see it, it will start to install and it will be install it and 
one more thing and after that uh, one more thing you have to do before you up, update the config file uh, you have to install you have to install your uh, mocha again as a dev dependency separately uh, even though we know this when you you know install start our project we install the mocha mocha is a part of our node uh, node package uh, but it's still you know you need a mocha in need to install your mocha separately as a dev dependency you know with your mocha awesome to effective you know to work your mocha awesome so after you install this okay after you finish this so let's let's say that if I just install it what happened because I already did it uh, it will be just override so you know so after that and then you will be say npm and then install install and then again save then deb and then mocha so you have to install mocha separately like this if you want to integrate this mocha awesome report as a deb dependency so let it go and after that if you now go to your uh, package.json you can see if you go your package.json it should show you all the dev dependency um, it should be you can see here okay so dev dependency this is the block for the dev dependency you can see your mocha you know this is the mocha that's we just install as a dev dependency and also mocha awesome so if it's better to have a dev dependency so that you know uh, next time if somebody wants to uh, you know clone your this same project they just have to install npm install you know mocha npm install so it will automatically install this you know the mocha uh, awesome and as well as the mocha so after this two done then we have to go to our config file we have to go to our config file and update this code report reporter reporter uh, reported slash custom JS I believe uh, not this one I'm sorry uh, this one reporter is a mocha awesome so copy this code and come to your your config file it means your Cypress you know cypress.json file and here you can update it like this you know just uh, you know we have uh, one of the uh, configuration you know I updated from one of my tutorial so what if you have the, something like this after that put a comma and then you know add this one so you have to update this uh, reporter which equals to the you know the mocha awesome so save it okay make sure you save it save the file and after that pretty much you know that's all now if you run your test cases whether it's a uh, one spec file or, or one test cases or all of them you know and then it will be create a mocha awesome folder and will create one json file you know of, uh, js file you know to build your report as i showed earlier in this tutorial so let's see that how we can run uh one you know i'm not going to run all of my test cases because i have a uh, lots of so it will take a uh, quite long so let's run one one of the test cases and this time we're going to run through the command line okay so you have to run it through the command line so if I want to run um, if I want to run a single test cases so any one of them so what do you have to do you have to uh, here is a command so npx npx then cypress cypress run right and then for the mocha you, you can see this you know I get the command from where where I got this uh, uh, you know this uh, uh, code to command line to run at command line cypress run does this uh, you know reporter mocha awesome so instead of cypress run you know I'm going to run as an npx which is the node you know node uh, so npx run npx uh, cypress run you know npx cypress run and after that you know dash dash reporter mocha awesome so let's sorry uh, let's copy it say if I just copy this one uh, reporter mocha awesome and after that 
it's go we're going to run one single spec file so that's why you are going to put dash spec spec and after that you have to pass the path you know uh, the path of uh, of your uh, whatever the you know spec file you are going to run so example we want to run uh, say a, a, a session right so you I believe if I get a relative exp oh, sorry not the relative expat copy path yes and then paste it here um, no we don't have to pass I think we don't have to we have to pass just from your uh, I think it's a Cypress right from from our Cypress from from there so let's remove rest of the path so your because of your projects you know root directory is the Cypress so uh, not your whole you know the PC directory so here you know so you can you know from the Cypress Cypress then the integration then example and this is your you know uh, your it block or one of the test cases or st test spec which is where I'm saying assertion okay so that's it so that's the command you know to run a single spec file or single test cases so hit enter should work okay so it's running you can see one uh, out of one is file is detected one file and it's you know it's running one uh, file also so and it's under of uh, the suit is my test suit so you know if we go session this one this is the file you know, my first test suit this is the you know describe block and then it's a it block it has a quite number of test cases in one uh, test suit uh, you can see one two three four probably six you can see over here you know test cases we found six that six it block and it's passing six no fail no pending okay so everything is good so looks like all the spec file are passed so we got it we got it in a console report over here so now we can see the mocha awesome HTML report too so if you just you know you I have already mocha awesome uh, report folder over here you know if you don't see it's created just you know refresh your project from here refresh and then it will you'll see there was a, there is a folder it's called in you know, a mocha awesome report so click open that and there is a JSON file and there is a HTML so copy the uh, I think copy path and then open on your you know browser here you go you see so you can see it's an it's a it's a very decent you know report you can see here is your test block and here is all the six test cases right and you can if you click on it will show you your all the code specifically each and every test cases the code is there and it's green sign is mean it's pass all of them is pass and it can tell you you know how long you know uh, it uh, uh, it took right and the, the duration right so this is that uh, uh, the duration how long it took and uh, you can see uh, also it's a one suit and then six test cases and all of them are pass right you can change the some of the settings from over here too if you want it's up to you right and also it shows that when you know what date it's ran all those things right and your project also Cypress example so okay so that's the way you know you can integrate a custom report like mock awesome you know with your project uh, this is an external report as I said you know uh, the dashboard it has an inbuilt dashboard uh, services it's a services you, you can you know go to the their official website and search a dashboard you will find tons of document and you can you know uh, uh, discover that how it works it's really fabulous there is no other automation tool you know it's uh, give you such kind of like dashboard report but you know you know apart from that dashboard if you want to use any other custom report this is one of the mocha awesome is one of them so and, and it's very easy to integrate and use it 
right if it's if something is failed you will see automatically it will create also a folder it's called screenshot and you will get a you know something inside so right now I don't I, there is no test case failed that's why there is nothing but if there is any test case failed you will see inside the screenshot folder there will be one image also it will give you the screenshot you know specifically in the test case got failed and also you will see there is a video folder you know so if there is a you know a, your your whole assertion I mean your whole test cases about your whole test cases the execution there's a video right so if you just uh, click on open I think so you can you can open it right uh, copy path I believe again so this is not part of the report this is just a part of the framework but just still still I'm going to just show you right so how really cool the Cypress so it automatically give you the built-in features which is the screenshot as well as the you know your uh, what call the, the video also okay you can see this you know this is the all of the test cases we ran ran through the six of them test cases under one or uh, you know test suit so this is the screen uh, in the video so anyways so that's all about the mock awesome report thank you so much and stay tuned I'm going to make a separate video regarding the dashboard because dashboard is a very unique web services that uh, comes with the uh, you know Cypress there is no other automation tool to give you that such of uh, uh, features so it's it's a web service just remember it's a one of the web services uh, but it's still I will uh, make a separate video for the dashboard thanks a lot and uh, wait for the next tutorial have a good one bye bye